welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure all right y'all so look i'm on this lawnmower let me get off this lawnmower because this is on a lot of squeaking but anyways um so look this video i want to talk about my paranormal experiences um I got a part one to this where I talked about all of the freaky, creepy things that happened to me in my lifetime. Um, I will put that in the information box or whatever. So if you want to watch this when you're done or whatever, you can find it on my page. So look, I got a couple stories this time. Um, I'm going to start off with my most recent experience. So my most recent experience, I was... Um, at an Airbnb, at an Airbnb, and you can tell this was obviously an older, older home. It was a town home, um, and at nighttime. So what happened? Okay, at nighttime, it was uh, me and my fiance. We were sleeping or whatever. And we heard some some walking, some footsteps. Now, mind you, at home and stuff, if she hears something, you know, she's getting up, she's popping up, she's checking the whole house, checking all the doors, walking around, you know, making sure everything is good. So she does the same thing here and nothing, nobody, nothing. But it kind of sounded like it was over our head and there was clearly no attic at this place. So it was weird, but it could have definitely been like walking around the house. Um, so the next morning, you know, when we talked about it or whatever, which, you know, I was freaked out. You know, I think I couldn't sleep for a little bit then or whatever. But then, you know, I finally made it to sleep. But the next morning when we talked about it, she like, um, hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, that's so gross. But I just talked about this in my last video, how stuff just be on you and you just don't be knowing until you go and watch the video back. But anyways, I had just got done eating. Um, but anyways, so the next morning when we talked about it, she like, yeah, um, um, we had our nieces with us and, um, and our son. And she was like, yeah, last night. You know, in the living room, I had looked, and I thought I seen one of the kids, and, you know, it wasn't one of them. You know, I realized it wasn't them. So come to find out, you know, it definitely was, like, some kid, like, ghost, some kid spirit in the house. Maybe a family, who knows. But it was definitely some walking going on. Definitely a little kid up in there. And you could just feel the energy. And I'm going to say that Airbnb was super weird because, um, and I'm surprised we even stayed. Because quite honestly, when we get in sticky situations, we would dip. We would dip, but it was very late when we got there. You know, we just wanted some rest. So um, it was already some freaky stuff, creepy stuff going on with that Airbnb. Because in one closet, they say it's off limits. And they had like a Bible and some type of letter or something. So... That already set the tone that that place was just creepy. Anyways, the next story, um, I found this quite interesting because, um, you know, a lot of people talk about, oh, do everybody have souls? And, and specifically, to be specific, you know, people talk about white people having souls. And if you guys wanted me to answer that, I would say, yes, everybody has the opportunity to have a soul. It just depends on the person and if they're meant to have a soul or not. So, um, and the reason why I know this is because not only people have souls, animals have souls, and even insects have souls. And let me tell you how I know this to be true. So, I seen a fly soul, y'all. I seen, I mean, not even like the soul, but like the spirit um, of the fly. So, I killed this fly one day. I killed this fly, and this fly, like, literally haunted me for a couple of weeks like, and my fiance saw it too. And I'm like, no, it wasn't all the fly. I had already killed the fly or whatever. And when no more flies in here or whatever, she's like, no, it really was a fly. Like, you could literally see this fly like it was there. And it felt like it was there. It looked like it was there. But when you really look at it, when you see it, 
the fly is not really there. It was like a white silhouette of a fly. So I killed this fly, and this fly did not want to leave us alone after that for a while. It was crazy. Flies have souls, y'all. Um, so the next story. Okay, I was um, I was driving, and I look in my and I felt like I was being followed. Like I can tell. Like it's weird in um. In Georgia, I know it's a lot of, like, um, sex trafficking and stuff like that. So you just got to be aware. But don't focus on it because then you'll manifest that stuff right into your reality. But um, definitely anytime I felt like I was being followed, you know, I always dipped the cars, got up out of there, you know. So I did that in this in this case. But it took me a minute because I kept getting stuck at lights. So I finally get stuck at a light and the car is behind me and it's like a, um, it's like a, um, what do you call them? The pickup trucks or whatever. And I look into my, my rear view mirror to try to see who is this person? What does this person look like? So I'm looking, 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 the car is right behind me. So usually when the car is right behind you, you can see exactly what that person looks like. Their front window was not tinted at all. So I'm trying to make out the person and I couldn't. So it felt like... You know, what I got out of it, it looked like an alien. Like, it literally was just like a gray silhouette, and it didn't look like human at all. So, that was, like, real creepy or whatever. And, um, yeah, it was crazy. I just really feel like that was, like, some type of alien or definitely a soulless being. So, let me think what else happened. And this all happened since my last video, y'all. So another thing, which probably the last thing I could think of, something else. Oh, no, something else happened for sure. So, so the other day, and not even the other day, but like maybe a month ago. Oh, no, you know what? Not even a month. Yeah, maybe a month ago, a couple weeks ago. So after we left that Airbnb and we got back home, I felt like I brought those, or we anyways, those energies came home with us. I wound up saging and everything after that opened all the windows, saged the whole house down, even my garage. Um, so I had to run back in the house. We was leaving and I had to run back in the house to get something or whatever. And I seen like a little, I seen a, a shadow. I seen a figure, something went past me. And of course it was nothing there, but it was definitely something, some type of energies within our house. So, so um, the last story is I was in the kitchen and you know, a lot of you know um, from previous videos, you know, I told you guys my mother passed away. And I was in the kitchen, and I heard somebody call my name. And it was like, Tiba. And I thought it was my fiance. I'm like, huh? What you say? She like, I ain't say nothing. And I thought about it like, you know what? Maybe she didn't really say nothing because she don't call me Tiba. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, Wow. That definitely was my mama. That definitely was my mother's voice, and she definitely called me Tiba. So my mother was there, and she was able to speak for that moment. She was able to speak, and she called my name. So, yeah, um, that's all I got for my stories this time. And that was quite quick. A lot of stuff happened. Shoot, that's a lot of stuff. And um, it probably was some more stuff, quite honestly. A lot of little noises and stuff I be hearing. You know, you just kind of brush them off. Ain't no telling what that stuff really be, y'all. But definitely sage your house if you believe in that or whatever. Get those energies out of your house because you never know what you are carrying around, what type of energies then followed you. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's all I got for this video, y'all. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tuned, and I will see you guys next time.